Hi, Vijay Mistri here, CEO and founder of Renter Director, author of seven world class corporate training programs, which have a green light status award from the UK Trade and Investment. And our purpose is to see leaders, entrepreneurs, directors, executives, and managers achieve standards of excellence in everything they do and scale up their businesses with ease. My dear friends, today I want to share with you something about leadership. And this is about scaling up. This is about moving to another level altogether. So this particular video is about leadership excellence, how you can become an effective leader as we move into 2021. Now, 2020 has been a big challenge for many leaders globally. We know it that many have folded, many businesses have folded, and many have been struggling as well. So in this particular video, as we move into 2021, the game is going to change. The landscape is going to change as well. And we know it. We have heard about what's going to happen as far as the pandemic and the vaccine which is coming out. So it's going to be a different outlook altogether. So in this particular video, I want to share with you these insights, which is going to lead to more clarity, more confidence, more competence as well, sharpening your intelligence as well, and be able to help you to prog progress and scale up to another level. So let's deep dive straight into this training. Now, this is all about leadership excellence, how to become a highly effective leader in 2021. And what I want to share with you are eight keys to becoming a highly effective leader, which I believe are key. Now, the first one is CCP. This is about having a compelling, connected purpose. It's not only about purpose. We have to step up the game and deep dive and move into another level. So it has to be compelling and connected. Why do I say compelling and connected? Because I've noted in the past, uh, in, in 2020, having coached, consulted hundreds of CEOs and executives globally, one thing that really stands out is that they have a purpose, but it isn't that compelling sometimes, and it is not even connected when they are making decisions. So I want you to stand out and step up the game by making sure that you are laser focused when it comes to your purpose, and make sure that it is completely connected and compelling. It should ignite, you know, it should have that ignition, which leads me to the second point, which means energetic leadership it is about energy. It's about making sure that you are using and maximizing the highest uh, applicable use of your energy. It's all about energy because when you have that energy, the influence immediately builds up. So have that energy, have that passion, have that purpose in place, which is going to be compelling because that is what is going to lead to the connectivity at the end of the day. So make sure the energy levels are high. In one particular organization, when uh, uh, recently I had a virtual retreat, in fact, it was a leadership virtual retreat, which I did for one group of companies, and there were five brothers. It was a family business. But here's the thing. The energy level was not that high. And the reason the energy level was not high is because it was business as usual for them. There was that stagnation, the feeling of stagnation. So I came in and I had to ignite the whole group. I was just facilitating, but they had to make those changes from within and which they are now enthusiastic. We're going to have another session, which is going to, uh, you know, help them to scale up and they've got a few disciplines which they have to follow. That's what I do. But again, going back to this particular point of energy, make sure the energy levels are completely uh, congruent, you know, to your purpose and to your passion. Now, moving to the third one, PPM. Now, this is one of the biggest elements which leads to many lagging. And by PPM, what I mean is proactive, progressive mindset. Now, you have to be pro proactive. Why do I say proactive? It's just not about a mindset, having a growth mindset, but it's about proactive, being proactive. And by proactive, what I mean is, is that reflecting on solutions, putting more uh, time and effort in solutions. When you face a challenge, what are you going to do? How are you going to confront it? And what are those moving paths 
to help you to be proactive. So always seek to be proactive and being progressive as well. So again, connecting yourself to the purpose and the vision as well. So here's the point. The whole picture will start making more sense when you have that ignition. Again, going back to energy. Ignition comes when you make an impact. An impact will lead to breakthroughs. So here's the thing. You need to be having that proactive mindset. By having that proactive mindset, it's going to change. You'll see a different landscape altogether. So you have to work with your mental muscle to make sure that you're proactive in whatever you're doing. And I'll give you a practical example that if you're training, say you're doing weights and uh, you're doing a rep of 10 of 20 kilos or 40 kilos or whatever it is. But if you have a proactive mindset, you'll keep on stretching yourself and you'll start thinking about how you can go to the next level. That is where the ignition and the energy levels will be connected. Moving to the fourth point, which is engage. Now, sadly, this is something which is basic. We know it, it's basic. But here's the thing. I have noted many, many business people and executives who are not really engaged. I mean, on LinkedIn, I get connections, but there's no engagement. You see, there's no sort of dialogue or there's no engagement. So it's very important whoever your stakeholders are it could be you know if you have a business then your stakeholders the whole stakeholders there's a value chain in the whole stakeholder of your particular pipeline of growth process from end to end so here's the thing what are you doing to engage and how are you engaging what is that connectivity and what are those flows of energy level sorry i'm going back into energy but it's so important to make sure that you have that passion and you are curious to make sure that you keep on adding more value so engage engage with your network engage with your peers have a coach have a mentor have somebody who can help you so that you can engage and move to another level altogether it's not about motivation but it's about disciplines it's about building those habits which are going to step up the game and take you to becoming a highly effective leader in 2021 Moving to the next point, capabilities. Now, recently I was uh, uh, coaching again another group, uh, a company, and there were about four directors and one executive had uh, uh, like a head of finance. So we were five of us. And here's the thing. One thing that we noticed is, is that they were not really stretching or rather this is what we identified uh because we were doing an appraisal one of the things we noticed is that many of the directors these directors they were not really stepping up the game they were not building onto their capability which is so important so here's uh, something that i would ask you to consider is delegate your mundane tasks and step up the game become a visionary come up with a, a scope and come up with stretching by building up your capability. Once you step up the game, you'll see that it's going to help you to open up to new opportunities and possibilities. So move out of your comfort zone and step up the game by having that uh, heightened level of capability on whatever you're doing, whatever your field is, but keep on stepping up the game. And here's one capability which I would press upon you to look into is how the skill sets of uh, deepening your knowledge in technology because everything is moving AI is coming out next generation uh, companies are coming out as well are emerging so next generation technology is emerging so my point is learn what is aligning to whatever you are doing you could be an executive or you could be a business owner but at the end of the day what is it that you are doing to align yourself how can you align better so this is so powerful. Look into AI, look into that. Technology is one of the capabilities. Finance is another capability. Looking into the external environment and seeing what is fitting within your business is another capability. Looking into other sets of verticals and innovating is another set of capability. But keep on building upon, uh, stepping up your level of capability. Another key point is why questions. 
power of asking questions is going to heighten your intelligence. Intelligence is asking the right questions. Knowledge is getting the right answers. So it's about heightening your level of intelligence. So you have to ask the, uh, uh, the right questions. Now, when would you be asking questions? And sadly, this is me, uh, missing. When I have board meetings as a non-executive director, I note that some of the board members, they don't even ask questions. And the reason they don't ask questions could be that they're not prepared. And I have coached them. And one of the key elements is they didn't have time to prepare for the board meeting. That is one of the reason. The second reason is sometimes they feel intimidated. They don't feel part of the team. So they're not part of that team. So that is another thing. But the most important key component which I have noticed is because they're not really fully connected to the passion, to the purpose, to their particular raw talent in contributing to the value system in an organization. So here's the thing, my dear friends, if there's one thing you can take home for 2021, and I promise you it's going to change the game for you, is asking those questions. Come up with the right questions. That what is it that I can do to uh, move to another level? What are the gaps? What is missing? How can we move to what? What's coming? In fact, what is really, what is emerging? What are the new technologies coming? You know, keep on asking questions relevant to whatever you're doing. That, my dear friends, is going to completely help you to become a highly effective leader as we move into 2021. INF, what do I mean by INF? Immersion and focus. If there's one thing again, that you can really take home is to immerse 50 minutes of immersion in whatever you're doing. Use 50 minutes of complete core immersion. Now, if you're in a noisy environment, you'll say, I don't have those 50 minutes, but pick up those bite-sized timings where you can completely immerse in whatever you're doing. And, you know, use your capability, use your strength, your mental strength, and figure out exactly how you can really become more productive because immersion will lead to growth. Immersion is part of leadership, which is going to lead to influence and it's going to even heighten your confidence. And again, focusing. I see, sadly, I've seen executives who digress and it's not only about uh, digression of, uh, you know, looking into the smartphones and all that, but uh, focus into the discussion itself because what's happening is we got 60,000 thoughts in a single day and what's happening is some of the executives they keep on uh, having their own thoughts and not really focusing in the core discussion if you see where I am so it's all about connectivity it's all about making sure that you are completely focused into whatever the dialogue is whatever the project is whatever the discussions are whatever you're doing even if it could be analytics it could be research it could be financials whatever it is for you but your focus must be at that 150 percent level my dear friends I press upon you to make sure that you're more focused which leads me to the last point can you please make sure you really look into your priorities? Again, this is another key problem which I've noted with many leaders. And if you want to become highly effective, one thing that I press upon you to look into is your priorities. Work on your priorities. Find out where the leverage is. Look into the 80-20 principle. In one particular business, they had uh, 400 uh, creditors, uh, you know, the people who were supplying them. So in their supply chain, they had 400 creditors. But here's the thing, 95% of the business was coming from the five main uh, key suppliers. So we have to relook, we are now relooking into the whole supply chain and finding out how we can really leverage. So work on your priorities, whatever your priorities are work on your priorities and use your time sparingly. My dear friends, 
Thank you so much for watching this video on leadership excellence on how you can become an effective leader as we move into 2021. And I look forward to sharing more growth driven insights in the future videos which I'll be posting soon. Thank you very much. Bye for now.